How's it going everybody? This is Ruby and this is episode 50 of my Feed the Beast Machine tutorial series. Today we're going to be taking a look at the distillation tower from Greg Tech. Now the distillation tower actually only has two recipes for it so I guess these are pretty important. So the first recipe is 16 oil cells with 17 empty cells and that'll give you 16 diesel cells, 16 sulfuric acid cells, and then this glyceriol cell right here. The other recipe is 16 biomass cells and then eight and then in result it'll give you eight biodiesel cells and eight empty cells. Now this one only takes 20 seconds, but this other one takes 800 seconds. So you're gonna have to spend a little time at this machine if you're doing this one. If we go ahead and take a look at the building recipe for the distillation tower, you're gonna see that it's uh, pretty expensive. It's not that cheap. Uh, it takes two energy flow circuits, two industrial electrolyzers, and then two pumps. And now these are the industrial craft pumps, not the build craft pumps. So make sure that you build the right one. And then two industrial centrifuges and a highly advanced machine block. And this is for the distillation tower. If we go ahead and take a look at the casings, because it's comprised of standard machine casings and advanced machine casings. The standard machine casing is six refined iron, two electronic circuits, and then a machine block. And that makes four casings per recipe. The other one is the advanced uh, machine casing. And that takes six chrome, two data control circuits, and then a highly advanced machine block. And that makes four casings as well. If we go ahead and build the the distillation tower ourselves, you're going to start out with eight. We're going to start out with nine standard machine casings on the bottom. Then you're going to do a, a layer of eight advanced, uh, advanced casings, and then another eight of the standard, like so. And then one more of eight of the advanced machine casings. And then you're going to do nine more standard machine casings on the top. Oof. And as you can see, it's pretty tall, so you'll want to make sure you have some room for it. And if we plop down the distillation tower, you can see that the light turned to green, and we don't have the incomplete machine casing message anymore. Powering the distillation tower is pretty simple. It takes 128 EU per tick. Now, if you would have noticed on the recipe, you can see that this one takes 128 EU per tick, while this one takes 32 EU per tick. So even if you're doing this recipe and you're still supplying it with 128 EU per tick, it's not going to blow up or anything. It just means the maximum power it's going to take during this cycle is 32 EU per tick. So here I just have an ultimate hybrid solar panel hooked up to an MV transformer, hooked up to an MFE, and then glass fiber cable running over here to the distillation tower. I recommend that you use an MFE because if this thing does not receive enough power, it's really not going to make any progress and you're going to not want to just sit here deadlocked because it doesn't have enough power. Automating the distillation tower is a little bit more complicated. It's not that much more complicated though. The top, so the side with this little drop on the top is going to be your input. So you would throw, for example, our biomass cells up there. The side is going to be your output. So this would, where, this would be where the biodiesel cells would come out. And then the bottom is your empty cell input. So if I throw some empty cells in there, find them. Where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? Oh, you can never find anything when you want it. I'm telling you. So if we throw some empty cells in the bottom here, you can see that they will get sucked up into the distillation tower and put into the bottom. Now this would already be processing but I'm not supplying it with any power currently. To pick up the distillation tower you're going to want to make sure that your electric wrench is in lossless mode. You can use some other wrenches, I just prefer the electric wrench because we can make sure that we're not going to lose the machine because this is a pretty expensive machine to lose. So to make sure it's in lossless mode you hold down your, your mode key which you will have to rebind in the ultimate pack and then right click with your mouse and you can see down there at the bottom lossless wrench mode enabled then you can just right click the distillation tower and pick it up that's going to conclude today's tutorial if you guys have any questions please feel free to leave it in the comments below or send me a private message on youtube i read all my comments and all my messages so i will get to your question if this video helped you out or if you enjoyed it a rating would be much appreciated and subscribe as i always have new feed the beast videos coming out almost every other day if not every day thank you